So Friar Pacioli, after a brief introduction in chapter 1, uh, starts immediately in chapters 2 and 3 to talk about taking an inventory. Why would he start with that? Well, because all financial processes begin initially with the balance sheet. Balance sheet states the position as of the starting point of keeping track of what's going to happen from there forward. The income statement represents activity between balance sheets. So the first thing you have to do is you have to establish an opening inventory, an opening balance of all the assets that one has held. Now, if you use the REA concepts, or event-based accounting as some call it, and you kept track of every transaction from the time that a child earned their first 10 cents from doing some chore, and you keep track of all those transactions, then you could add up those transactions and theoretically produce the first balance sheet, but nobody does that. We don't keep track of transactions, we lose transactions, so periodically we have an inventory process that trues up where we're at. So Friar Procoli begins his process by outlining this process of creating an inventory. And the kinds of things he talks about documenting are all the assets, everything that you own, all different kinds of things, being detailed about it and, and being careful about where it's at. He says the first kinds of things are first personal property, cash, jewelry, silver, etc. Then real estate, such as houses, lands, lakes, meadows, ponds, which cannot be easily moved or lost. Then all other things, which must be put down one after the other. The whole inventory is best completed in one day. Otherwise, the inventory process may interfere with the management of the business. He gives samples of cash, jewelry, silverware, farmhouses, cloth, linen, supplies, family estates, farm savings accounts, list of debtors, and list of creditors. All of these things go into the inventory for the first uh, to establish the opening balance for any kind of bookkeeping process. Thank <music> you.